Hey everyone, it's your boy once again coming to you with another cool video. But before we get started, I just want to say if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, share, and most importantly, tune in every week to this channel for all things application, solution, infrastructure, and enterprise architecture with a heavy slant towards developer-centric content. Today we'll be looking at some hardware specifically the Lenovo Yoga 9i 2-in-1 laptop that just dropped. I usually wait till I can walk into a store and put my hands on something before I decide whether to get it. So once this bad boy became available at Best Buy, I walked in, tested it out, and picked one up to review for y'all. If you're a developer or an architect or both, uh, you know that having an ideal device that satisfies all your day-to-day -day needs is really critical in getting that development environment where you can be most productive. To that end, I'm reviewing this device to see how useful it is to creating software, an activity that most would admit heavily relies on the keyboard. I mentioned the keyboard thing because one unique characteristic of the Lenovo Yoga 9i 2-in-1 laptop is that it has no keyboard, at least not attached to the device itself. It's actually a dual screen laptop, one of the first of its kind. So let's go ahead and let's get started with reviewing this device. All right, so let's perform the unboxing and let's see how this plays out. Basically, it's a pretty cool box. Um, I like it. Presentation is pretty nice. But that, of course, is not what we care about. Let me pull this out. Put, down, put this to the side. So here we have a first look at the uh, Yoga Book 9i. Um, somebody's got to tell... Lenovo or whoever's making these devices to start naming these things uniquely because there are actually multiple Lenovo Yogas. So uh, even when searching for the device, it's difficult to find it. You have to go through all the other Yogas. I don't know if this is the new Yoga or if this is just a specific um, version of the Yoga laptops that's a dual monitor style. So it's very difficult to figure out but in general, uh, the packaging is, is really nice. I'll take this out now and start opening it up. There you have it. So it's pretty nice little flip open thing, as you can see. And really nice packaging. And of course, here is the device right here. And then in the box, you would also get, let's see, this piece of paper <laughs> and um oh that's cool you get a stylus with it so i wonder if it'll work with the surface stylus but it looks like you get an actual stylus with this thing i really 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 don't want to rip this open so i'm gonna leave this inside get a keyboard All right, so that's what this is the keyboard that goes with it I'm gonna put this over to the side as well and you get this uh, this case thing this case thing is pretty cool because it kind of lets you position uh, the yoga in interesting ways. All right, so you can, I guess, position it like that. And we'll show it. You can do all kinds of cool things with it uh, using this to stand it up. So we'll, we'll work on that later. And then since I'm opening everything, I guess I'll also open this. And 
This has some manual information. And then, what is this here? Well, this is in fact a stylus of some kind, pen of some kind. As stated, I'd be interested to know if the uh, surface pen will work on this or if I need to use this pen. I happen to like the surface pen, especially the surface pen slim. So it'd be nice to know if that will, it'd be cool if that can work on this. So here's the pen, all well and good, all working. And then you also get your charging brick. Get this out of the way. Your charging brick here. And the hope is that this is USB type C and it is a USB type C charging brick. All right, so we got everything out of the way and we're right now just dealing with this guy right here uh, with the, um, uh, the keyboard. And here's the charger for it and here's the mouse for it. That's basically how this guy comes. And then here is the device itself, which I will now open. pretty cool matches the colors right here so very similar color profile this is looking pretty cool um, no stickies all around the side this is a really slick device this is a really slick device I, that I will give Lenovo that this looks very slick now let's compare it to some of its contemporaries We'll start with the MacBook M1. This is not an Air. This is a MacBook Pro M1, right? Not an Air, so you can see that this is around the same size. I mean, it's a 13-inch screen. And of course, this is a 13-inch screen. Let me open this guy up. Ooh, look at that guy, right? That is nice. That is nice. Okay, move this up a bit. And then let's look at the ThinkPad X1, which is actually also from Lenovo. Close this guy up. And this is much larger, right? Let me put this on top of this. So it's much larger. And actually, interestingly enough, much heavier. This is a this is a heavy device. This is actually quite light and then of course uh surface right so as you can see the surface is a little bit smaller than it and say a little bit lighter uh, than it this is the surface pro i don't know nine it's the one with the with the little thing in there and that's what i'm going to check to see if this will actually work on this guy so in terms of comparisons weight wise um, this is pretty, um, pretty comparable to what's out there, but that's not what we're really here to see, right? What we're really here to see is, well, how's this going to work? <laughs> How does this work when you actually, um, try to use this, uh, as a device for development? So as you can see, it does come with a keyboard. So at the end of the day, this guy uh, you know, uh, you know, the answer is all automatically, Hey, as long as this keyboard is working and I don't know how this thing charges, I don't see, oh, there it is. So there's a little thing right here for it to charge. So this guy, uh, it doesn't have a battery, which is good actually, which is good. So you can kind of charge it, um, by itself, turn it on and off, which is kind of cool. So as long as that's happening, uh, we do know that obviously, uh, this guy can be used to a certain extent you can type with it, right? So then it, the next question comes about, well, yes, you can type with it. So what else makes it cool? Well, it is two monitors, right? 
So because it's two monitors, you can actually use it as two monitors, right? right? So I think you can actually position it. Let's see if I can do this, figure out how to do it here. There you go. So you put that down like this, and then you can actually position this guy like this. And then I believe you can take the keyboard and put it down here. And you basically have a dual monitor laptop at your disposal, right? Functions as a dual monitor laptop that you can pretty much do whatever you want to do with. So quickly going through this, on the right side, you have two USBs on this side and a switch over here. We don't yet know what that does. And also I believe that's the power button. Don't really have anything in front. Opening it up. You've got a, opening it up, you have the, um, let me kind of show this here. You have the, uh, the cameras up top. And then other than that, the whole entire thing is just all screen, screen on both sides, it's basically like a book, right? Now, this part, one part of it is thicker than the other. So one part of it has, is, has more heft to it. Uh, the quote unquote keyboard side of it has a little bit more heft to it. Um, and then you also have this additional screen. So this screen up here is much thinner than this screen uh, down here and much lighter, uh, you know, and that's likely by design. So let's turn this guy on. So I just wanted to give a brief view of how the setup system works. Again, remember that this part you're looking at in the bottom is a keyboard and this part over here on the top is basically the screen. So as you can see, while the setup process is going on up here, down here, you're getting some video or cycling images and whatnot. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So far, it's a touch-driven experience. Uh, no one has even, I haven't even been offered the option to, um, I mean, Bluetooth, I don't know if it's enabled on this, so I would have to have some kind of physical mouse uh, plugged in somewhere to use a mouse with this. But of course, you can use your fingers. And, and, and you know, when you get this this guy, the when you get the pen, the pen, you know, doesn't, doesn't work, right? So, you basically start out uh, with um, nothing and work your way up. So here is now my first chance uh, to put in a password. Um, and right now I'm putting in a password. This is a dual screen where the bottom screen is supposed to be the keyboard. And as you can see, the keyboard is showing up up here uh, instead of showing up down here uh, where it belongs. Is this? Nope, there's nothing going on here. This is just an image. Right. So everything is really happening up here to start. This is just cycling uh, images. Okay, so I've now connected the keyboard. I'm not seeing any change up here. And I still see that guy here. So this is just the out of box experience. Um, the keyboard is not gonna work in the beginning. Uh, and you're basically gonna have to use this main screen uh, to do everything, unless you plug in a USB keyboard um, that you can use with it, you're kind of going to have to use your your fingers to start out with. But I found hitting in the packaging, a mouse um, and uh, and a battery. So you do get, you essentially get everything you need, man. I mean, you got a mouse, you got this, you got a keyboard to go with, right? 
So in terms of like accessories, this is, um, this is pretty cool. So we did it. We unboxed the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. Try saying that three times. I can definitely say at this point in time that this is an extremely sexy device and you will stand out at your local coffee shop or wherever it is you sling code. How cool is it to also have two screens to work with and have those two screens be in a form factor that's compact and portable? You really can't beat that. I don't know if there's any device out right now that has these capabilities and I can't really say for sure right now if this kind of device is gonna work for me. But what I can say is that this is definitely the sexiest, coolest machine uh, that I have worked with. In the next video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up the 9i for Microsoft-based development. That means Visual Studio, SQL Server, the Office Suite, and any other kind of tool that's common to a developer um, in this modern era of coding. Once we have all our software installed, the next step is gonna be taking the 9i for a full developer day spin. That means coding, compiling, running, <laughs> debugging, um, querying tables, maybe even creating images or icons for an app, connecting to an Android device, connecting to an iOS device, pretty much the full gamut. If you like this video and you want to see more, if you want to find out if the 9i is the product for you, then please like, share, subscribe, and tune in for more videos like this. As always, have a blessed day.